Tuesday. Oh my gosh. I had to give me a drink because it's only Tuesday. This craziness is too, too, too much. This is low key like a pop snark 0.5. 36.5. It's not. Who's got to come up with these crazy white women's? Oh, peak mediocre white women's ness. <laughs> All right, but well, we got to come talk about the craziness that's happened between Taylor Swift and Melania Trump. When did white women become such devilish liars? When did they give up their fragility, their innocence? When did they become Joanne the Scammer? <laughs> You mean they've been like this forever? First with Kim Kardashian, the Kanye thing, and her snapping videos of Kanye calling Taylor Swift and getting her approval for the famous lyric. Now, Taylor, since then, is claiming that she specifically takes issue with him referring to her as that bitch. However, somebody referencing you and saying that they could still have sex with you, I, who am I to be the moral judge? If you approve that man to say that he could still have sex with you, I. Well, I don't really want to cape for like Kim Kardashian because I feel like this is just a setup. Because now we're talking about her. Her name's in, her, in our mouths. We all follow her on Snapchat. I do, and ethically, I don't even like her. But her Snapchat is like fun. It's the only Kardashian I follow. For those who are a little bit more invested, they're now going to turn into keeping up with the Kardashians. You're going to follow her on Instagram, Twitter, the Kimoji, because petty. It amplifies Kim Kardashian's social currency. Like the good Judy that Kris Jenner taught her to be. I feel like this was very strategic on the part of Kim Kardashian. Now, that doesn't mean that I can't enjoy the good Kiki that she strategically set me up to have. Can my list allow me to say that? Oh my God. I just feel like it's gonna be a selfie with Kim Kardashian, Taylor Swift, and Kanye in a couple weeks and Kim will have the better filter on it. As much of a strategic swindle as I think this is, it also, you gotta give it to Kim in that this is a good one because there are so many different layers in this for us to discuss. You know, I think a lot of people don't like Taylor Swift because she is like the quintessential mediocre white woman. She got that mediocre white woman haircut. Like even the hair color she be dyeing her hair to. It's just like mediocre as fat. And she just has it down pet. And I remember when she came on like, oh hey, look at her and be like, oh she's winning. She is going to win. I didn't even know, nothing about her background. Just off the look with that crinkly blonde hair, blue eyes, you know, the really kind of soft, delicate, small features. I, I feel like it was giving me John Bonet Ramsey tees, you know, like that weird thing Mormons have about what they believe people in heaven look like. White. That's what I thought of Taylor Swift. Now, the backstory is Taylor loves to downplay herself as like the underdog, the quintessential everyday, awkward, cracks corny jokes, round the way, country girl, but she's from Pennsylvania. Yes, her parents owned a farm, but like they, they were like hedge fund owners. Like her dad is like a wealth management vice president. And it wasn't like they were working hands on the farm. They owned a farm because it was like they kids went up horses. So like, why not buy the whole farm? And then when they came, when a record deal, they like bought a part of the record label that ended up signing Taylor Swift. Like, no, seriously. So Taylor is like a quintessential YouTube star. She's like Jacob Santorius, is that how you say his name? She's like Rebecca Black, the girl that did the Friday song, except for she legitimately has talent. I mean, you could say what you could say about Taylor, but you can't be acting like them songs ain't catchy and like you don't be singing along too. But what we can say is that she stayed trying to play this underdog, damsel in distress. Oh, what was me? I'm just a, like she Elsa from Frozen. And really she's like the prince from Frozen. Two-faced to ask, I do wanna know about the legal implications of recording somebody. See in the state of Texas, only one person has to know that you're recording the phone call. In California, it's a two-person consent. And um, Taylor had money to blow before she was winning Grammys. Her family has money to blow, so I'm sure there'll be some sort of litigation, some legal things happening behind the scenes there. Um, but girl, I just want to thank Kim Kardashian for giving me a good key this weekend because I'll be looking on the internet like, what is, what's the why? This election stuff is just boring me. But I mean, we got to talk about the election stuff because Melania, sis, you done Rachel Dolezal, Michelle Obama speech, seriously claiming something you ate, word is not bond, you don't even know what that means, boo boo. How you gonna give a speech and co-opt it? From the 2008 speech that the current sitting first lady, like, pull some shit up from Lady Bird. Copy and paste Eleanor Roosevelt's speech. I would say find stuff from your own, but you Eastern European, Slovakia, Slovenia, Slovakian. That sounds like something I would get at the Greek restaurant and eat, like a really good gyro. Maybe that is, I'm probably mispronouncing it. What kind of staff 
do you have that your writers don't cross double check triple check it's nay on the stay to make sure you are not stealing not only from a previous speech but from your opponent essentially like and what's crazy about all of this is that melania even is allowed to have excuses like is she ruined she's not but if this was a black woman oh she would be done she would be pounded into the grave all her credentials would be in question they keep claiming Melania graduated from college. The, the whole dropped out after the first year. Ooh, that's so bad of me. Excuse me. I believe in women's rights. We're not gonna call her a hug. There's nothing wrong with that, but just don't go around claiming you got the Griggs you ain't got. Black and brown women are not given the opportunity to make mistakes. This isn't even really like a, oops, my bad. This is flat out plagiarism. And people are standing behind her to defend her. You know, we always tell black folks they gotta work twice as hard when mediocre Melania's are out here being Becky with the borrowed speech. And you know, to go back to Taylor, I really hate having to cake for people that I feel like don't always like really deserve it. Cause after watching OJ 30 for 30, I'm real careful about who I defend now. But Taylor really did play up on that fragile white woman steez and had Kanye out here looking like the angry black man i mean kanye also like he just be doing so much that it like even if taylor has said nothing i don't know a lot of it is his own actions but the fact that taylor even played into it it's like when you knew you was wrong girl this is one of those situations where you should just have been quiet you should just be like mm -hmm. let him hang himself by himself he didn't need joel he didn't need you to fan the flames but you saw the flames of fanning and you were like oh let me help my brand out and then got the fire smacking you right back in the face because you fit in the wrong way, sis. Also, about this hat, these are the dad hats that all the young kids like. I now have them up on shop.smartbrowngirl.com. The crop tops, I still have a 15% code on that. And also, I have a 15% off coupon on the mugs. You cannot interuse them. It's one or the other, but everyone can't wear, I mean, I'm not even crop top fit, right? So if you've been holding up on the mugs because they were a little pricey with the shipping, they are now significantly discounted for you. Coupon codes are down below in the description box. <sighs> Join the Smart Brown Girl producer circle. For two to five dollars or more, you can support Smart Brown Girl. Visit patreon.com slash and become a Smart Brown Girl patron today.